All right, three, two, one, and let's get into game one, Nitro versus K9. And of course, K9 wants to overcome Nitro. He's gonna have to win two sets. So that puts a little bit more pressure on the K9, but he is coming in hot off his victory over YMCA, which is an amazing set, so if you missed that set, I would definitely go back and watch it. Yet again, he's just stuffing out all of K9's approach options and retreat options. Like, you want to approach me in the air? No, you're not. You want to retreat above me? No, you're not. So you you got to see uh, the winner's side, or the winner's finals match between right. these two players, right? Yeah, it was a quick 3-0 for Nitro. Right, but what was Nitro utilizing in that 3-0? I mean, a lot of it was just stuffing out Sheik's approach options with the, the fair and the bear, you know? Did K9 ever switch to Wolf? No, he did not. Okay. Or, you know, I think he might have switched to Wolf game three. Okay. Yeah, again, a quick forward smash will clean out that stock, and yet again, K9 with the lead at this point. Oh, I, I like that. That was cute. Using the the trade to get a dash attack after the fair, and just like that, Nitro's dead. Quick gimp right there will clean out that stock. It's so hard for Belmont to come back if they get hit off stage. Right. Stock lead, you know, now he's gonna have all the advantage in K9's favor. And as you can see right there, you know, he's dipping real low. He's trying to make sure that Nitro has a lot of difficulty recovering, especially with the uh, with the tether. And yeah, again, I feel like that was the one big difference between uh, winners finals and grand finals right now is that K9 never really got a gimp off stage against Nitro, and now that he's got that gimp, you know, in the lead. But yet again, I mean. Ooh, what's a lead when you have a kill confirm off of a down B? You can charge up like oh. a. And that bouncy fish went very far. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it back. No, he won't. Yeah. And just like that, K9 takes game one with Sheik. Yep. Yeah. Right. Sheik back? Sheik at least back on the, the map? Against Belmont's at the very least. All right. K9 looking focused. As Nitro thinks about what his stage select's gonna be. Typically we see Nitro kind of picking to Kalos. I mean Kalos is a good stage. Oh. He, he likes Yoshi's. I don't know why on earth he likes Yoshi's. But he does. You know, smaller, smaller horizontal blast zones, I guess. So yeah, you would think the slants would mess up Belmont more than help him. I mean, if you if you short hop and then throw the the holy water, then it can hit the ledge. But I don't know. I feel like it's a, it's a lot harder to set up traps. Okay, well, let's see. Probably going to be utilizing the F tilt and forward air or angled forward air a little bit more on this stage. All right. But we do see the character switch from K9, like, even after taking game one. And the way that he edge guards Nitro, I feel like um, Wolf can also do the same. Ooh, Ooh quick forward smash. Especially like drop down there. Yeah. And again, get the forward tilt off stage. And again, using the axe to bait out an option. And then, but again, he's going to get punished for it. I like that using the the bear to kind of be like, okay, that's not that's not gonna hit you, and then using the four tail to uh, stuff out any approach option. Yeah, but one hit easily turned into a ton of damage for K9. He was able to convert and just keep pressuring Nitro. Complete reversal. Ooh, I like that trying to go for that bear, but I'm not gonna be able to quite find its mark. Oh, turning around unfortunately instead of going for the grab. Nitro wasn't ready for K9 to land right in front of him. He was expecting the cross-up. Oh, and that narrow offstage will clean out the stock, and Wolf makes it back. Man, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I think I think Wolf will be able to edge guard Nitro just as easily as um, Sheik. Sheik, yeah. 
And again, quick fair off stage. Let's go for the axe. And do it again. K9 catches the holy water, but is that going to be a good thing at this point? Quick grab the dash attack. And not going to try to stuff out anything at that point. Oh, the S smash beating out the down tilt. And oh, okay. Wow. He almost died. I actually didn't think he was going to go in and make it back. Yeah. I mean, they have a little bit of drift. It's not amazing, but it's something. But that back air will clean out that stock, and K9's looking very good during this grand final. Yeah, he's looking like he's about to make it to 2-0. Forward air, after forward air, all the forward air landing, looking for this tether recovery. Well, you know he was looking for another forward air off stage, and if he had gotten it, that would have been game. And again, that's what I was talking about. You have to short hop in it. Throw yeah, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see. Okay. Definitely looks harder. <laughs> it's harder to do. It's not as free as just standing there and throwing it. That's for sure. But at the same time, you're able to space yourself a little bit easier so that you can cover roll option. Yeah, it almost like adds another mix up to the game because you know now you're short hopping. You don't know if you're gonna throw out the holy water if you're just gonna throw out a fair or a bear. You can also react to uh, uh, jump off of ledge immediately, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now we see Nitro off ledge hanging just for a, a little bit. Oh, but he supercharges that up smash and will die for it. You know, I don't know why players don't see a charge smash attack like at ledge like that and just immediately go for a get up attack. Yeah, because get up attacks act actually like not that bad in this game because they have a little bit of a invulnerability on get up. Well, you have invulnerability until you swing. Yeah. So it's like, it's meant for that specific you know, option. Yeah. option. Yeah. <laughs> That's your free get off me option. Right. That's your like, okay, you're not killing me with a fully charged smash attack option. Whack. Okay, so bring it up 2-0 K9. Looking to get a reset here in Grand Finals. No. Yeah, again, what? Change. Character switch? <laughs> Maybe it's the mind game. Yeah. The mind game. You know what? Like, I, I could see it because Richter thrives off of putting you into situations that you are uncomfortable with. So if you can mix up how you're going to approach, you know, like it makes it that much harder for Richter to set up the traps because they have to know where you want to go. Right. And it's like Nitro has a pretty good read on where Kanan wants to go. He has put on a ton of damage without taking any of his own. A quick down tilt out of shield, and there's the forward smash, and that's a zero to death for Nitro. Yep. Cleanest stock. K9 drops, you know, full stock to Nitro. Ooh, tries to air dodge the stage and manages to sneak it back without getting too much damage, but yet again, all these fair off stage and almost gets hit by that bear. If he had gotten hit by that bear, that would have been it. Yeah, again, quick up tilt, and that's a quick combo. Are, are we going to see a reverse? We are seeing a back-to-back -back zero to death. <laughs> I mean, especially putting Nitro off stage and landing Nair to Nair. Taking a second jump with another Nair. Ooh, oh, no. that's bad news no, for it, Belmont. Yeah. Okay, another Nair. I can see kind of what, uh, what K9 was going for with his character switch. Right. Going for those extended uh, F tilts. Recovering very high. Nitro picking the correct move. Oh, I like that. Using the cross hit back to get the up smash. But yet again, is it going to be too little too late? I mean, he's at 75%, so it is, it is good damage. I mean, let's be real. Nitro, as soon as he's off stage, is already at good percent. All right. It's almost reminiscent of like how Little Mac was off stage. It was like, it doesn't matter what percent you're at. Man. You're at good percent. Oh, quick down air to stuff out the option, and it needles the bouncing fish. Yet again, K9 is looking to wrap up this grand final super quick. And hit that quick reset button, and let's just move right on to the last set of the game. Of the oh, night. that's it. Yep. Yep. And there we go. That's the quick 3-0 for K9. Again, I feel like he finally learned how to edge guard Belmont with Sheik, you know? Just get the, that fair, fair, uh, double jump back fair, and if they if they side B or they up B, then you hit it. If they if they wait for the tether, then you just go for an air. You know what I think it was? I think that K9 has finally woken up.
he was talking about earlier about how he wasn't feeling too good, and he was just feeling really tired, and just felt really long between sets. Um, but now he's been playing back to back to back, so he's really warmed up at this point. You know, if he's if he's gonna be awake at any point in the tournament, it's right now. Yeah, I get that adrenaline pumping through your veins. I mean, even in this instance, you know, we have a zoner against Sheik, and the Sheik is backing off, giving zoner all the opportunities and room that uh, pretty much Nitro wants. And yet again, Nitro is setting up all these traps like on that platform right there, using the the double jump to kind of like cover that option. Ooh, gets a quick fire off stage oh, and gets the hang. I love that. Nitro not opting to go for the recovery right away. Hung out a little bit, making sure that K9 was nowhere near the ledge so he can get, get back to the ledge uh, safely. See, K9 just trying to fish for this option right now. Gets the dare, gets Triple another dare. Triple dare? Triple dare? I feel, like, I feel like Nitro didn't expect that second dare to hit, so he kind of like backed off on it. If he had drifted forward, he probably could have gone in an up air afterwards. What too. if Nitro was like just trying to get back to the ground and K9 kept getting in the way? Right. <laughs> could be. Could be. Okay, another forward air connects. Wow, look at those axes from across stage. Okay, quick fair, we'll clean out that first stop. There's that ledge hand once again coming in clutch. Really mixing up his his recovery, uh, his timing recovery, because uh, Kanan's having a lot of difficulty figuring out when he needs to go off stage and nair. Yeah, again, quick nair, but not going to be able to quite find its mark. Yet again, I feel like because Stadium is a larger playing field, you know, it's harder for K9 to like close in that gap. That's true. So I think it's like just utilizing the ledge hang is really add another layer to Nitro's gameplay. And yet again, wow, using the cross to cover his uh, recovery option right there. Yeah, so lands, now we see the holy water set up where cross up bear does connect. There's that ledge king again. Ooh. It's almost like Kanan will have to go that deep just to challenge the recovery now. Right. Going Whoa. real deep right there. And again, I like that recovery option using the tether to make it back. Oh, gets it there and try fishing for the down for the back air, but not gonna be able to find it. Good stash attack, but you know Nitro's at 172. She is struggling to find this kill at this point, but. Oh my god, I kind of wish that K9 had gone for an up smash instead of a dust attack. Yeah, hard to say. Yeah. Yet again, wow, all, all those projectiles like force him to like pick an option. Wrong for it though. And that's actually probably like the hardest mix up to be in when you have like the axe coming at you, the Holy Cross coming back. And he has, and Nitro is, is essentially just standing there waiting for you to push a button. Right? You roll, you do roll, you get grabbed, you get grabbed, you get F tilted. If you do jump or neutral get up, you're probably gonna get hit by the axe or the Holy Cross. If you do nothing, you get hit by the, the axe. So yeah, it's, that's a horrible trap to be in. And he's at 200%. You know, Canine's just struggling to find this kill at this point. That's right. We're going to see an up throw. We're going to follow up with an up air, but a good air dodge from K9. And then it's a raw bouncing fish. Manages to finally find the kill that he's been looking for this entire set. Quick fair to interrupt him. Here's the fair train. Is he going to get him off stage? No, there's the air dodge. We have a jump, he uses the high recovery and he makes it back. That could have been totally scary for Nitro right there. You know, sometimes I forget the Belmonts have a sword, but Nitro always seems to remind me that that up B uh, does have like a sword hitbox. Dropping <laughs> low, and like I'm saying, you know, it's almost like Kanan has to go that low just to challenge the recovery now. Oh. 
dash attack, or not dash attack, a forward smash. And I love that option right there. He's just like, I'm probably not going to make it back. Let me just try to whack you before I die. And then he gets to the bear, and he kills Sheik for it, because K9 was not expecting to tech that. Yeah. Now we see we go up. Nitro getting one on the board. After the reset, we have one own Nitro. Yeah, we see a character switch from K9. Switching back to Wolf. And the switch worked out fairly well in the, the first set of grand finals. Let's see how it's going to work out here. Then again, switching to the wolf, you know, I feel like, yet again, at least on Stadium, it's going to be a lot better for Wolf just because he can kind of play around that big field too. Yeah, but I don't think he's going to be able to go as low and, and deep to, to get the Gimp attempt. I mean, you don't really need to go low and deep as long as you manage to catch him. That's true, but the way that Nitro's been recovering, it's been so patient. I mean, he's even opted to just hang below stage for almost a full second. And again, Nitro is just showing why he has that first seed and almost taking it back kill, but yet again, Nitro is just not going to let K9 take this set. He's like, okay, you got the first set, fine, but this is the set where the money counts. I mean, Nitro did have a set to lose and lost it. He did. And another axe will connect, taking K9's stock at 171. Right, and he's only at 41% too, so this is a very healthy Richter at this point. Another Holy War connect, but whenever a Holy War actually bounces off shield, it becomes danger, uh, dangerous to both players. Right? That's why K9 still got hit, even though he like blocked it. Right. Going for the up air, trying to find the back air, but not going to be able to quite land it. Gets hit by that fair, and yet again, here comes the action. Just barely managed to grab the legend time. Ooh, spot dodging that down smash. Needed to get around that down smash. Rolling behind K9, so the, the Holy Cross has an octave hitbox. That's tricky. Oh, parrying the down air. Oh, I like that, you know, using the double jump to bait out that up smash. And gets dash attacked, unfortunately, not grabbing ledge right there. Yeah, but not for taking 133%. A lot of damage. Really, just one Holy Water set up from death. Uh-oh, no jump. Air dodge can get Nitro out of that juggle. And yet again, you know, Nitro kind of struggling to find this kill at this point, you know. Like, Wolf's at 150, almost 160 percent, you know? Oh, but he went, I feel like he, he was just so scared of the axe that he just went super low. And unfortunately, Wolf, not the best recovery in the game. I mean, yeah, and that's the other tool, you know, that Sheik had over Wolf. She could kind of stay off stage a little bit longer. She could stall with Bouncing Fist. But the she did jump. not have that option, yeah, the, quick, the quick down smash to clean out that stock from center stage. Very, very true. Okay, another down throw into dash attack. There's my air dodge, so Nitro can make it back to stage. Oh, dash attack to dash attack. Gets the re-grab and the up throw, up forward air. And yet again, Nitro just retreating the ledge and be like, okay, I'm not really scared what you can ledge trap me with. Right, a couple of back here. A lot of whip attacks coming out from Nitro. He's putting up a wall, a barrier of uh, aerial attacks that K9 really has to be uh, Careful for. Alright. Air dodges off stage, manages to snap on the ledge. Another back air connect. I mean, we're uh, we're approaching death percent for both characters, All right? And just like that, Belmont is dead with that quick up smash. You know, I feel like K9 was reading the roll option, but I thought he was looking for a down smash. I honestly felt like he was looking for a down smash. He was like dashing around trying to see which way Nitro would recover. And then you know, throw out the down smash, but up smash, hey. I mean, yeah, if, if you, I mean, Victor threw out a hitbox and got hit for it. 
No surprise here as K9 uh, picks Wolf once again. Okay, three, two, one. Here we go. Back to Pokemon Stadium 2 on game three. Coming down to the wire. I mean, there's not too many. There's only a maximum of three games left of this tournament. Right? I feel like whoever wins this game is just going to have so much momentum for the rest of the set, you know? You don't think he's going to game five? You think he's going to game four? I feel like it depends on who wins this game. I feel like if Nitro wins this game, it, it's going to go to a game five. If K9 wins this game, it's going to go to a game four. Okay. Well, fairly even start for both players, but getting a good landing read where K9 is going to go and a big F smash from Nitro. Well, we've seen uh, deficits disappear quite fast in this set between these two players. I mean, all you need is just a quick smash attack for Wolf in order to clean out a stock. Even in there at this point. Cross of Nairs, but Nitro getting wise to those cross of Nairs. Turns around and gets the punish. Quick Nair off of the hop and gets the bear, and that will clean out that stock. And no, K9 only had 40%. That's not a whole lot of damage. Carrying the Holy Cross. I like that going for the up tilt in case he air dodged in, and then going for the re grab if he didn't. Ooh, manages to sneak that roll in and hit again. Yeah, Dash Attack not going to be quick enough to actually catch. Just barely managed to make it back on the stage after that directional air dodge. Yeah, good character knowledge from that here. You knew that if he directional air dodge from that high, with his double jump, still going to be able to make it back. Well, we got stuffed out by that forward smash, you know. Blade pressure coming out from Nitro. Up the out of shield. Great option. That's a good get off tool. Yet again, I like how he's utilizing this up tilt as like an anti air. You know, be like, you are not landing on top of me with anything. Yeah. Forget your cross of snares. I got a whip. Oh, that that should have been a punish of some kind. That was a re grab on ledge. Quick nair off stage. And yet again, Nitro manages to make it back. Down till one and two to help Nitro retake center stage. You can see Nitro is just scared to approach K9 because if he makes one mistake, that's going to be the stock for him. And wow, that was good character knowledge, knowing that he can jump past K9 and grab the ledge on the other side. And the dash attack will clean out that stock. You know, Nitro is really down at this point. Now Wolf has 0% combos. There's the Nair. Is he going to get another Nair off stage? Not quite enough. You know, he goes for the high recovery with the FB. And now K9 just feel free to sit back. Like, I have, I have the stock lead. You have to approach me. Utilizing the blaster. It's a great projectile, but uh, Nitro has a few other projectiles at his disposal. Right? Shot. And as you can see, K9 is completely comfortable sitting back to shooting blaster. Make sure that Nitro is aware that he is the one that uh, that is behind. I mean, at this point, like we're nowhere near a timeout. But yet again, if you have the stalker percentage lead and you don't have to approach the zoner, like don't force an option that would get you punished. Nair coming out, both of these players checking each other's shields. K9 is looking a little bit more unhealthy. A lot of back airs coming out from Nitro. There's a quick Nair. Oh wow, the I, I thought he was dead for a second because of the hit stun from the Holy Water. 
I thought the holy water just caught him off guard. Right. I didn't know if he was gonna react. But jumping over the holy water and landing right in front of Nitro, not able to throw out an option. It's just too much pressure coming out from Nitro. And I'm getting hit by a forward air back there, gonna whip. Oh, and that up smash will scoop up Nitro, and we are going to game four with a 2-1 lead for K9. Now it's time to find out if your, uh, your suspicion is correct. Right. Will we have... Will, it, will, will K9 clean out this tournament right here, right now, like I predict? Or will Nitro manage to bring back to a game five? It's coming down to the wire. Advantages in K9's, uh, K9's corner, but... Counter pick belongs to Nitro. Okay, sticking to Pokemon Stadium 2. Looks like the entire set's gonna be on Pokemon Stadium 2. Game four, set two. Yeah. Nair connects, but down here gonna get Nitro away from K9. Another forward there going to connect. Nitro slowly racking up the damage for K9. Landing an up throw into forward air. It's another up air, but unfortunately gets hit by that nair of Nitro. And fall out of that combo. Gets a re grab. And the nair off stage, but it's not going to be able to find it. And Nitro trying to go for that there, but dies for it. Interesting option from Nitro. I mean, I don't know why he would try to go for that there. That there loses to every. Aerial in the game, basically. While while nerfed the up from K9 uh, up K9 W is still pretty big. Uh, but manages to get lucky and K9 unfortunately rolls into that F smash. Okay, another back air. Oh, the late traps coming from or the platform traps from Nitro. You know they can trying to reset. On those platforms, because just of all the projectiles that you're getting thrown out, and he's just aware. And you can see, you know, he, he read the high recovery, be like, okay, I'm gonna try force smash to you for it, and unfortunately, just missing the timing just barely. Right, another nair to put Nitro off stage. Oh, wow, the wind up just too slow, and Nitro able to escape that end smash. Oh, but here's the nair off stage, and yet again, not be able to quite finish it. Oh, you see K9 is looking for that up smash now. So another dash attack from Nitro. Now following up with the down tilt. Wolf flashing to the platform. That's something we don't really see uh, from K9. He isn't going for that option in this set. I mean, when the other option is retreating to the ledge, which is Belmont's strongest position, yeah, I'd, I'd try to go anywhere except there. The down air into up air conversion for Nitro is going to clean up that stock. And a big F smash from center stage, only 5% extra credit. Yet again, this is looking kind of bad for Nitro at this point, you know. Okay, a blaster, and guess what? We're back to an even game. Yeah. Again, oh, I like that, using the, the back air to cover his landing. Gets hit by the axe. Right. A lot of percent getting put on the canine. Now B out of shield. A good, uh, good option. Oh, gets hit by the axe again. And air dodges, but unfortunately does not get hit with anything. No, canine just struggling to find his way in. Oh, I like that. Using the air dodge in to avoid getting hit by the axe the third time. And that probably would have killed him for sure. Dash dance to grab, and we find K9 off stage once again, getting hit by the Holy Cross, and then up air to seal game four. We're going to a game five tempo. I am wrong. I admit I was wrong.
Oh, this is K9's counter pick for the final game. Do you think they're just running it back? Yeah, counter picks are inconsequential. They don't exist. We only have Pokemon Stadium too. Yeah, we're we're so cow. This is this is this is, this is uh, Starterville. It's yeah. Starter, it's Starter Stadium at this point. Starter Stadium. Starter Stadium. Starter Stadium two. Yeah. One go. Yeah. Dash attack landing Nitro. I mean, both players are playing it super patient and passively at this point, you know. They know that this is the final game in the set. And finally, he uses the get-up attack to punish the, the charged smash attack. Yeah, we haven't really even been seeing K9 go for the charged smash attack, but Nitro recognizes the situation, knowing what the correct call is. I feel like it's just it's hard to two-frame characters with tether recovery, so there's no point in charging a down smash if you know it's not going to connect. Uh, you see a back throw coming from K9. You can see the back there, back there. No, it just kind of backs off. Ooh, manages to wait out that up smash, and yet again, like both players are playing it super patiently. Just throw the axe. He back slams, and he's looking for the ledge option. He gets up at the end of the holy water. He's able to feel that up tilt. He's just getting hit by the up tilt. Gets grabbed, gets thrown off stage, and opts to go for the back throw. Yeah, luckily for K9 in that position, it wasn't going to be enough to take a stock of just shining the axe right back at him. Okay. No, normally, I feel like because he was on the upward angle of the axe, so the axe got sent back down. Usually when you, the axe comes down, it gets sent up and it's flying into the stratosphere by reflector. Okay, well, Kanan has a bit of a lead. Only 53% extra credit. You can see the forward throw, that's just the stock. Yep. Back at Nitro. Seem to be utilizing that shine a little bit better here in game five. Put dash attack into the holy water. And yet again, that holy water did so much shield damage that K9 just had it basically let go of shield and take the damage in order to not have a shield broken at that point. Back air, couple back air from Nitro. With dash attack, not gonna get punished for it. Yet again, both players are just hopping in and out of each other's spaces, you know, just looking for that one option that's going to break their opponent's defenses. Especially when the percents are almost even. Both players don't want to be the ones that get opened up and converted on or even put into a disadvantageous situation. You can see Nitro being forced to recover. I mean, any percent is going to be costly for both players at this point. Quick down tilt off stage. Wow, catches the jump from stage. Goes for the holy water and the forward tilt, and that will clean up the stock. Yet again, this is. Nitro. Let's see if Nitro can capitalize on this lead at the at this stage of the game. 119. Kian looking for a back air. Looking for a yeah. strong move that will seal out the stock and bring us to a final stock. And you can see K9 just playing so defensively, like basically saying, like, I'm going to try to just empty hop in it, whatever, just so I can not get hit by your moves. And he keeps landing within Nitro, though. Nitro is just holding shield and then getting a grab for it. I really think Epto being utilized by K9 now that I think about it. I mean, I feel like Epto is not really that amazing in this matchup because it's usually more as a, as a, as a get off me option, or like I think you're gonna approach go F tilt, but Richter's never in that space where F tilt will connect. That's true, but typically we'll see like cross up Nair into F tilt. I don't think we've seen that at all. I feel like he doesn't want to go for anything that's like super laggy, because if it gets shielded, like he's gonna get grabbed for it. I feel like Nitro's smart enough to hold shield until that F tilt is gone. Oh, 
He's in disadvantage. Yep, the number slowly rising on K9. Only at 104%, sitting on his last stock. Both players, it's one stock apiece. So honestly, if Nitro gets off stage, K9 uh, does get the hardest read. He is still right. able to take it, but that's but no, no jump. jump. Oh, but Nitro doesn't manage to hit him on his recovery. Quick up BIO shield, not quite enough to take the stock. 156%. Oh, even the Holy Cross is sending right. K9 real high. Yeah. At this point, he has to worry about pretty much everything. Everything, yeah. There it is, and that's game. Just chuck him out of here. Game five going to Nitro. And with that, we have concluded Wednesday night fights. That's right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed Wednesday night fights. We have, uh, you know, a good amount of sets on here. Right. So, a lot of close low, calls. A lot of low tier heroes. Oh yeah, low tier heroes for sure. Yep. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed the commentary. If you like the stream, be sure to hit the follow button. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you want to catch us on Twitter, uh, Z Fly. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Twitter's 2GG underscore Z Fly. And then uh, SSB underscore Tempo. And we it's, will see you it's all. Late. Yeah. It's late. Uh, it's late. Get them out of here. Go up there. Yep. To the, the skies. Sky. Yep.